How you doing? This is Brother T. If you want to support the channel, we have t-shirts and other merch right there in the description. Just hit the link. You were a star child. Let your light shine for all the world. When you open your mouth to reveal a pearl, let it shine more just to light the path. If it don't add up, man, just do the math. If it ain't for you, let it pass on through. Stick around, stay on the channel, and you'll get it eventually. So let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about the frequency of money. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Money has a frequency. <laughs> Before we get into how to get on the frequency of money, let's break down what a frequency is. I'm going to read a definition and then I'm going to break it down in my way just in case you didn't get the definition, right? Because the definition sometimes can be. A little hard to understand frequency the number of times a value recurs in a unit change of the independent variable of a given function <laughs> a lot of you out there are like what the heck did that mean okay let me break it down to you a different type of way um some of you know not all of you not a lot of you might not have even known but i was an actual sound engineer for years i did other stuff for work but i did it on the side i had my own studios and all types of stuff i actually went to school to become a certified sound engineer and we break sound into you know uh, well i can explain frequency with sound and i'm going to do it in a way where some of you are going to understand it some of you will probably still be confused so when you're thinking about frequency i want you to think about one line right just the basis at zero, right? So you'll have a line and a lot of you have seen audio and I'll put one on the screen, okay? You've seen audio files, right? So when you see that slow curving one that goes up and down, that is measured in Hertz when you're talking about music. But how many times the Hertz go around that line? Well, maybe I shouldn't call it a baseline. Maybe I'll just call it zero, right? So. How many times that that uh, line goes up and down and around that zero line? That's called the frequency. All right, so it's the how, how often something happens, right? And uh, as it's happening often, if it goes faster, it's a higher frequency. If it goes slower, it's a slower frequency. Now, if you want to break that down into um, music terms, your bass line, right? Your bass line is a lower frequency. If you look at bass lines on the same audio file, I'll try to find one and put it up on the screen. They're usually 40 hertz or less, right? So 40 hertz or less is usually your bass lines, all right? Because they, they're going, that's a very slow frequency when it comes to music and it's your lowest uh, pitch, right? As you go up, now you're gonna go higher, way higher than 40 hertz. Sometimes you can go into thousands of hertz and that'll be your higher pitch things or higher frequency, right? You got it. Now I want you to translate that into your personal life as well. Things are, that are more positive, that move faster, that make you feel, feel, you know, uh, better and whole, more whole, those are usually higher frequency things in your life. Things that make you feel down, things that slow you down in terms of how you feel. A lot of times those are lower frequency. What does that have to do with money? Okay. <laughs> It does, trust me. Money also has a frequency, right? It really does. You can disagree with me out there, but if you never get it, then I guess you can think you're right. And if, even if you do get it, I can argue that it's because you put yourself on the frequency of that money. Now, the more money you get, the higher the frequency, right? So you have to put yourself on a frequency of money if you wanna keep getting it repeatedly, repeatedly over and over again. If you wanna be in the place of a Bill Gates or a Warren Buffett, they have figured out the frequency of money. It's not spooky, it's not overly spiritual, it's very simple. Get yourself on that frequency. So now I'm gonna give you a few things that you can do today that can get you on a frequency of money or at least closer getting there, right? You can set it up now and plant the seeds later on it can grow and then you'll have a garden right <laughs> let's get into it okay the first thing you can do is attain the skills necessary that will allow people to pay you 
for what you do, right? That's getting yourself on the frequency of that money. If you attain skills that not a lot of people have that are really in demand and people really need, you're putting yourself on the frequency of that higher pay, that higher money. Some people go to school longer to get doctorates and masters because of this. They're putting themselves on the frequency of that money, right? They're putting themselves on a higher frequency so they can demand more of that money. That's not the only way though. Here's another thing you can do. You can find the best and easiest ways to get currency without working yourself to death, right? <laughs> Those things are on a certain frequency as well and you can match that frequency these are things like investing right investing in the stock market investing in you know crypto investing in property if you, if you you know if you're in position to even do that these are things that put you on a frequency so money can come in especially during the stock market now i'm going to take time and do a shameless plug but we actually have an online investing course you can take it's called investor root four module course now you can take it by going to lifetreecourse.com and it's a four you know four module course um 30 lessons in it is very cool all right if you want to check it out if not just stay on here and get the free stuff that's awesome too bang all right <laughs> so you've done those two things that puts you on the frequency of money. Let's look at another one. Now, this one is gonna sound strange to some of you, but be grateful. Be grateful for where you are. Be grateful for what you have. Being grateful, a lot of times, will open you up and put you on a higher frequency as well. And you'll be on a frequency level where you can receive more. If you're Mr. Grinch and you're holding on tight and you're penny pinching and you're no, no, mine, mine. <laughs> a lot of times you are setting yourself up for failure. If, you, if you're not giving as well, you, you know, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. Let me tell you like this. Um, I want you to hold your hand out. Bang. All right. Now, if you have a couple of dollars, put it in your hand or some change, it doesn't matter. You can put two quarters in there, it doesn't matter. Or you can just hold it out with nothing in it, right? I want you to hold it out and I want you to hold it out just like this. This is how you will be holding your money or whatever you're holding, right? Now, if I walk by and I said, here's some money and I try to drop it on there, what's gonna happen, right? It's gonna fall all over the place. It's gonna be on the floor. I might just be like, I guess you don't want it. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna go on about my business. That happens with your money as well. If you hold on too tight for it, you're not allowing the universe, God, whoever you adhere to, you're not allowing them to give you more, right? So a lot of times you have to open that hand up. How do you open that hand up? By being more giving. Um, find some charities to give to every now and then. Um, volunteer your time, right? If you are able to give $5 to a charity that you believe in, do it every now and then. Do a $20 one every now and then. Don't just hold it because if you just hold it, you're not allowing the universe to have that free flow. Remember, we're talking about the frequency of money. It's a reason why they call it currency. Okay, they're, they're really slick with language. You have to pay attention. There's a reason why they call it currency. I want you to think of money as an energy. Think about the people that you know are, are earning a heck of a lot of money. A lot of times, every now and then you get a a-hole, but sometimes they, they inherit it, right? But most of the time, they're gonna be a, of a certain way of thinking, right? They're gonna be more free thinkers, a lot of them. Unless you know, I'm talking about the entrepreneurs, the one that are the ones that are really doing something in life, the Oprahs, right? The Bill Gates of the world, the um, the and you don't have to personally like these people. I'm just saying they're different. The Elon Musk of the world, the Richard Branson's of the world, the the Warren Buffett's of the world, even my man, uh, the Facebook guy whose name escapes me for some reason. It seemed like I, I should never forget his name. Zuckerberg, right? The Zuckerbergs, right? They all have a different way of thinking. Think about it. They put themselves on a frequency of money. They don't walk around worrying about things like we do. And you say, yeah, they don't worry about anything because of the money. That's not necessarily the case because there's some people with money walking around worried. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Especially musicians. A lot of musicians put themselves in position where they don't really have the money that they say they have. And that's why they continuously have to go on tour. But if you look at the ones like a Jay-Z or ones like a Nas, see, they do things with their money. They don't have to ever go on tour ever again because they have all these other businesses. 
okay? Nas even did this uh, big deal with uh, Pluto TV. I think it was almost a, and I forgive me if I'm not exactly right, but it was almost a billion dollar deal, I think. So yeah, he doesn't have to go on tour. He can if he wants. <laughs> for the love of the music, right? But he's on the frequency of that money. He's gonna get that money. Yeah, okay. So let, let me go into the last thing you can do. All right? Well, not the last thing, but just another thing you can do because there's so many ways to put yourself on a frequency. I just wanted to give you a few things today that can help you start to think differently about this stuff. And that's setting up multiple streams of income. Multiple in streams of income. You go, a lot of you, go to that one job, you clock in, you work your fingers to the bone, you're tired, you don't wanna, by the time you get home, you don't wanna do nothing. You don't wanna spend time with the wife or the husband. You don't wanna, you can't even look at TV. The kids are getting on your nerves and stuff and you're doing that and you're just doing that every single day and you're tired of it, right? Well, how, how can we get around this or how can we start to put ourselves on a frequency with money so that we can eventually either quit that job or just have that job just for pocket money <laughs> or keeping your job for the benefits and have the other streams of income right that's where you want to be so if you set up those streams of income now you're putting yourself on a frequency of money and you say brother T okay tell me how can I have multiple streams of income brother T well, what you want to do, you want to set up passive income. And actually, I've named something already that can go into that category, which is the stock market or crypto, you know, stuff like that. Now, um, and I mentioned property as well. Yes, that's, that's multiple streams. Anything that you can set up, right? So where you can receive income from it, but you not actively work in there, those are the streams of income you really want to have because if you keep your regular job and you have these other streams of income then your income you're on the frequency of money so you're going to get money from all over the place right and like i said you can keep that job it, at, after a while after your streams are heavy enough to make you money then you can quit that job or you can stay there like i said to get the benefits or whatever you want to do now, starting a YouTube channel, if you can get it monetized, if you get to that point, that becomes passive income. That's another stream of income. If you're smart enough or intelligent enough to start an online course, just like we got the Investor Group a four module course, there you go. That's a stream of income. If you're good at making stuff, you're good at making bath crystals, if you're good at making, you know, bath salts, or you're good at, you know, I don't know, you know, name something. If you're good at something, you can set up a little uh, business, a little craft business, whatever. That, those are streams of income, family. Streams of income. Once you start doing that, if you, then that's why I saved it for last, because that's the one there. If you start doing that and you get multiple streams of income, especially if you can get five or more and they're starting to be lucrative, you can really get to the point where you can, you can call your shot out here. You'll be on a frequency of money this has been your man brother t i enjoyed you guys coming on through and i hope you got something out of this like i said and i say it over and over again sometimes i get the rambling and that's okay if you uh, withstand my rambling i'm gonna drop some jewels and i drop plenty jewels in this one i've dropped plenty if you didn't catch them go back listen to the episode again until you get it i'm trying to make you you know, I, I was gonna say a millionaire, everybody can't be a millionaire, right? But I'm trying to get you to a point where you're not wor as worried as you are now about your bills, okay? So go back, listen to it again if you have to, so you can soak it in. The frequency of money, get there. Get there. <laughs> this has been your man, Brother T. I enjoyed you stopping through. If you made it this far, then I know you rock with me and I definitely rock with you or I wouldn't be doing these shows. I'm going to catch you on the next episode. I'm going to try to make it a hot one too, family. Peace.